What do y'all? It's your boy Sherry Speaks, man. Let's get right into it, man. Courtesy of TMZ, courtesy of Justin Gaethje. Exclusive. He's prepping to fight Islam next year between February or March. He, you know, Justin Gaethje is manifesting a title shot. Now, the ranked number, the number two ranked lightweight, despite being ranked a spot below Charles Oliveira, probably has the strongest case with the next crack at the 155 title belt. And the UFC star tells us he's preparing to fight Islam Makachev in early 2024. Now, I think that would definitely make some fireworks, but let's get more into it, guys. Uh, he went on to say, no, I haven't had any conversations yet with the UFC about fighting Makachev. This is what, he, this is what Gage told Babcock on the TMZ Sports TV show, which airs weeknights on FS1 Attic. I'm expecting to fight Islam February, March of next year, so that's what I'm getting ready for. 34-year-old Gage is coming off of an impressive KO win over Dustin Poirier at UFC 291 in July 20, 2023, which is really crazy because that's how, man, this is how fast these events, like I said in my last video, I think, uh, this is how fast these events get churned right back out, man. We're already on 2000. We're, on, we're already four events up from 291 already, y'all. It's really wild like that. So Justin's now ranked number two at lightweight while Charles is number one in Islam's champ. Oliveira and Makachev were supposed to fight in the main event at 2 UFC 294 on Saturday, but Charles was forced to draw less than two weeks before the fight over an injury, which, quite frankly, if you remember what Dana White said, he could have came here, he could have stitched it up underneath the skin, and we would have kept having the fight, but Oliveira didn't want, want that, so he chose to just sit back, which is fine. You know, he took his, you know, he took, he, he, he put himself first. He, he chose his uh, alignment, you know, so that's all that's good. Still had a really good event, nonetheless. So, you know, and that was, a, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Justin clearly believes Charles, who previously fought and lost to Islam by submission in late 22, has missed the bus on a title shot, at least in the immediate future. He said, like I said, Oliveira had his chance, and then he had his second chance and backed out. KG said, it's clear JG believes this fight is his. So we asked him, how do you match up with the champion? He said, with the experience I've had with Habib, with Habib I understand that he's not the same fighter. I wasn't scared of Habib, but that's an unintimidating guy to go up against, and that factor will not be there. I'm more confident, Gage said, reflecting on his experience with Nurmagomedov, and how the Bankachev fight would be different. Because, yeah, you know, Gage is a lot different now, guys. You know, his his, uh, his fighting is a lot more pristine, really more crisp, a lot more precision, a lot more calculated, and a lot more, you know, like you said, confident, more relaxed in there. You know, he's not all reckless and shit like that. Um, he says, I think I'm a great matchup. I think it's a better matchup for myself than Habib. And I and I think I'll be able to really be effective with my striking and then create some opportunities and to maximize the damage that I'm creating. You know, and that's just what that is. You know, and that's... Whew, 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 whew. Guys, this is going to be... If this does happen, this is going to be a really wild-ass fight, man. Let me know what y'all think the concept is, man, as always. This is your boy, Jerry Speaks. I love y'all. Deuces.